Hey, good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. Right now we are cloudy as we look from our Broward camera in Fort Lauderdale. What a difference a day makes, right? We'll get to that wild weather we had yesterday in a second, but here's a quiet view from our Key West camera. So it is dry to start you off today, but boy, yesterday we had some severe storms roll in. Storm reports in downtown Fort Lauderdale. We had EF0 tornado confirmed, 334 to 358. Fort Lauderdale Hollywood Airport EF0 tornado as well. We're on 425 to 436 p.m. Port Everglades, a 63 mile per hour wind gust and in Davie quarter size hail. In fact, we had multiple reports of hail across much of Broward County and also just impressive wind gusts and also those two confirmed tornadoes. Not only that, for Miami-Dade County, we also had very active weather with reports of a funnel cloud around North Miami Beach and also some very gusty winds and we picked up more than three inches of rain in some areas. So at least we received some beneficial rain, but we could do without that severe weather. And today we're not expecting severe weather, but some showers and storms still possible. Don't let the quiet radar deceive you. Still take your umbrella with you. And at least we're a little cooler this morning. 69 in Pompano Beach, 68 in Kendall, low 70s in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Whereas yesterday in Broward and Dade County, we had the mid to upper 70s and upper 70s down to the Keys. Winds variable, light for the most part. Could see some patchy fog in spots, although visibility has been mostly okay so far. But look at how cloudy it is across much of the state with this frontal boundary just taking its sweet time moving towards our area. We're going to see so, some showers possibly around 9 a.m. along the coastal areas and a lot of clouds around as we head into lunchtime 1, 2, 3 p.m. once again with the heating of the day and some moisture. Yeah, we could see some storms firing up and some downpours in spots could hear some rumbles of thunder, lightning even into the evening commute right now. Models are showing that it could be quite wet and messy and these models were actually pretty accurate yesterday when I showed you was going to be taking place throughout the day and indeed we did have some pretty strong storms so behind the front 40s 50s in north florida low 60s in central florida we're not going to see a big dip in degrees but at least not as hot today instead of the 90s hey we'll take the low to mid 80s again scattered storms will be possible so you're not caught off guard you can download that free cbs4 weather app on your phone for boaters small craft advisory seas five to nine choppy on the bays a moderate risk of rip currents at the beach and tonight low 70s and upper 60s with a chance for spotty showers. Breezy as we head into your Thursday with a low 80s and we'll see about a 20% chance of rain through Friday and then hot this weekend and gusty on Saturday with some storms on Sunday. Another cold front is set to move in by Monday of next week.